quick book tag before work. This is the booktube watching tag. I was tagged by Emma Novella and the original creator was Harriet Rose. The first question is, how many channels are you subscribed to? It was originally 19 when I wrote this and now it's up to 21. Question number two is when do you watch YouTube? I'm with Emma basically all day, whenever I get an opportunity to. Number three, how do you balance your own booktube creation with reading and all these other things? So for me, I only like recording at certain times of the day when it's nice and bright out and that kind of thing. So that pretty much time boxes when I'm willing to record and that's why I pre-script a lot of things. So then if it's after work and starting the lights starting to get bad, that's generally when I'll be working on some other things like chores or I might be watching booktube or reading. And then late at night when I'm completely tired and I can't really focus on just about anything, that's generally when I watch the most booktube. Question number four is, is there a difference between the kind of content that you like watching and the kind of videos that you like creating? And I'm going to have to say, not really. The only difference I would say would be maybe that my videos aren't quite up to par in quality of content of everybody else, but the style and the kinds of things that people are going for is generally what I try to create. So question number five is who is the first booktuber that you subscribe to? Now, I'm the nerd that actually Googled how to booktube long before I actually created my channel. That's how I found Haley and Bookland's long video and I watched it several times. Then there was, uh, she linked to Little Book Owl's whole playlist and I watched several of those things but I was still looking for something more. Oh, then I found uh, Emma Books was linked in Little Book Owl's playlist. After all of that, I was still looking for something, a couple more videos, a couple of different perspectives. And that's when I found Lauren at Reads and Daydreams. She had made an entire playlist, like a six part series about how to booktube. And it was basically an expanded format of the much smaller version that Little Book Owl had, had tried to make. So I liked that. And the more I watched the rest of Lauren's content, the more I realized that I really liked her presentation and her style. If Lauren wasn't the first channel that I actually subscribed to, she was the first one that I subscribed to based on her content, if that makes sense. Question number six is the most recent booktuber that you subscribed to. Well, this is a tie. Uh, the reason it went from 19 to 21 subscriptions on my end is because I found out about Scallywagathon through Kayla at Books and Lala and I found the two creators or the co-hosts, I guess, of Scallywagathon, Allie and Amanda, and I subscribed to their channels. Question number seven is an old booktuber, an old favorite that you want to recommend. And the problem for me is that old is a month, but bear with me. Um, so as I mentioned, Lauren was one of the first uh, channels that I subscribed to. And through her, I found Jean at Bookish Thoughts. Well, Jean is like the penultimate for me, the, the goal, right? Because Jean is a PhD student or candidate, I don't know what you call it in the UK, of classics. And her channel is a steady diet of the staple kinds of videos for booktube interspersed with real high quality content that she can bring because of her educational background. So right now she's doing Harry Potter and classics where she talks about characters, character names and creatures and all that kind of stuff that were all inspired by classic myths. And that's the kind of thing that, that I live for where it's something different and it's a perspective that I can't really get anywhere else or I can read it in a blog, but I don't see very many actual videos about it. So that's the, <laughs> that's what I hope to aim for one of these days with my anthropology degree. Question number eight is share a new favorite. And I have to go with Mr. Common Spence, Spencer over there. Um, normally high key energy people really stress me out 
in trying to watch for very long periods of time, but somehow Spencer has just found the right balance that it really works for me. And his energy is so infectious as a result of treading that line that I'm really excited about him discovering fantasy, this this long love of mine and discovering the kinds of fantasy books that he's super interested in. Um, and it's actually because, I'll say because of him, because he was the one who brought it back to my mind, that one book ended up on my Scallywagathon TBR and why I'm even doing Scallywagathon in the first place, because I was thinking about that book more later. So question number nine is a booktube pet peeve. I'm such a stickler for details that my biggest YouTube pet peeve is when people cut off half of a word or a syllable or a sentence, usually because they're trying to edit just to the left or right of what they're saying and, and something gets lost. But I'm that person who will zoom in on my editor and I will find the exact point at which my syllable begins, even if I'm cutting it out of the middle of a sentence, a, a long stream of you know, uh, words that maybe I didn't actually want to include all of the previous sentences, but there, here's this nugget in the middle of all of it, right? And I will zoom in as far as it'll let me go, and I will find that, and I will go just, you know, enough breath to one side and chop it there. And it's very important to me because then you can still listen to the audio, and it still sounds very natural, even if the audio is getting cut up. So that's probably my biggest pet peeve. And question number 10, the final question is, what have you learned by watching others? I definitely learned that I think I was standing so far back from the camera that it was actually affecting the audio quality of what I was recording. So I'm gonna try and fix that for future videos. Lastly, Morgan, we have to pick some people to tag. I'm not sure if Bookish Brie is still making videos, but if she is, then I tag her, and I also tag Anna at It's My Birthright. Well, I better go. <laughs> See you guys later. Take care.